Police in Kansas City say the man responsible for at least a dozen highway shootings is in custody this morning. The case left drivers on edge for more than a month. Manuel Bajorquez is in Kansas City, where investigators plan to reveal more information later today. Manuel, good morning. Good morning. Police are expected to reveal the suspect's identity and how they tracked him down. At least six of the shootings happened in this part of South Kansas City. You can see it's a place where several interstates connect, and it's only minutes away from the suspect's home. A swarm of law enforcement surrounded this Kansas City house late Thursday. Police arrested a man they say is behind a string of random shootings on the city's highways. We wanted to make sure the, the residents and those that travel through Kansas City know that they're safe. The shootings began in early March. In total, police have confirmed 12 incidents, but say there could be as many as 20. Three people were injured, one shot in the arm, two in the leg. One of those bullets shot straight through this car door. Another bullet went through the back of this car, just inches away from a passenger in the back seat. Jenny Bauer was driving. You hear about things like this, and a lot of them go unsolved. And I was afraid that something more was going to have to happen before they would have enough evidence to, you know, make an arrest. The Kansas City Highway shooter is just the latest to terrorize highways. Last month, a Michigan man, Rowley Wayne Castile, was sentenced up to 40 years for shooting at 23 cars on a Michigan highway in October of 2012. And a notorious case in Washington, D.C. In 2002, John Allen Muhammad and Lee Boyd Malvo killed 10 people during a 12-day rampage that terrorized the nation's capital. In Kansas City, neighbors are relieved that a suspect is behind bars, but still, some fear remains. It's scary having someone this close, you know, and <laughs> it, I don't know, I'm just nervous and, and scared of the whole thing. Today, police will hand the case over to prosecutors, and they plan to wait until charges are filed to release any more information about the man they have arrested. Sharon? All right, Manuel, thanks.